Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Laila from Stikes Muhammadiyah Gombong. I will present my study about effectiveness of discharge planning programs to increase maternal self-efficacy in the prevention of diarrhea randomized control trial. In my presentation, I will explain about one introduction, two methods, three result and discussion, and four conclusion and recommendation. Background of this study based on data from the Indonesian Demographic Health Survey mentioned that 14% of children under 5 had suffered from, from diarrhea. 5 per 1,000 1, children suffer from diarrhea accompanied by blood. The prevalence of diarrhea in children aged 6 until 23 months is around 19 until 20 percent. Untreated diarrhea can lead to death with to dehydration. The causes of diarrhea can be clinically divided into six groups, infection caused by bacteria, virus, or parasite, malabsorpsi, allergy, poisoning, immunodeficiency, and other causes. The prevention of diarrhea by mother is done through exclusive breastfeeding, through providing uh, health and nutritional food, washing fruit and vegetable, before eating and cooking, washing hand with water and soap, giving breast milk, immunization for children, consuming healthy drinking water. Such prevention of diarrhea and other intervention to reduce morbidity and mortality due to diarrhea will be effective if uh, the mother adjust to the level of maternal self-efficacy in preventing of diarrhea. Purpose of this study is determine the effectiveness of discharge planning programs on maternal self-efficacy in preventing diarrhea in children. In this study, we use a pre-test, post-test, quasi-experimental with control group design. The sample were mother of children aged 1 until 5 year olds untreat, uh, untreatment at RSUD Dr. Sudirman Kebumen. The sample we were randomly selected in divided to the intervention group 30 respondent that received discharge planning programs and the control group 30 respondent that received uh, standard health education based on hospital procedure. The data collection was carried out using a double blind method. Maternal self-efficacy in the prevention of uh, diarrhea was measured Pro, uh, measure before and after the uh, pro implementation of discharge planning program. In the beginning of uh, child admit to the hospital, and then we measure uh, maternal self-efficacy measurement uh, by uh, self-efficacy scale for preventing early childhood diarrhea questionnaire by Joventino et al. 2012. And then respondent in the intervention in respondent in the intervention group were given uh, were given of discharge planning program. Uh, in day one, we give assessment of patients, and day two, we give health uh, education about care for children with diarrhea. Day three, we give health education about medicine and nutrition for children with diarrhea and therefore we give health education about when patient should be taken to the hospital. 
The methods used in the administration of health education were lecture and demonstration. Well, the supporting uh, media included booklet, leaflet, and equipment for caring diarrhea in children. On the other hand, respondents in the control group were given health education about diarrhea based on the hospital procedure at the time the patient were discharged. Before leaving the hospital, the respondents were asked to fill in the maternal self-efficacy questionnaire by Joventino. The data collection process were carried out using a double-blind method. Result of this study show that majority uh, age of children around 25 until 60 months and gender is male. Most children were age 25 until 60 months old. Children of this age are in the late development of toddler until school. Children have already consumed a variety of food. Regarding rope motoric skill, children are able to walk upstairs. In terms of mind motoric skill, children at this stage begin to learn to use colored pencil, explore the environment and initiate something, have imagination, and the flop skill drop, active, play, and work together. They have the risk of exposure to pathogenic microorganisms that enter their digestive tract. This situation can cause diarrhea to the dead children. Result of age of mother majority age of mother around 31 until 40 years old. Mother in this age uh, in early adulthood. My task of adulthood is to achieve generativity. Characteristic of generativity is this adult age is the proper age to care for children under 5 years old. The normality test in this study was performed using the Sapiro wheel test so that the data were normally distributed. So we carried out using independent t-test. In independent t-test, we, we know that the effectiveness of the discharge planning progress in, the, in children with diarrhea show that discharge planning program effective in increasing maternal self-efficacy in the prevention of diarrhea in children with p-value 0.0. .0. Structured and systematic discharge planning programs provided complete and easy to understand information for mothers who are caring for their children in the hospital due to the area. Mother with good self-efficacy are most likely to apply personal and home environment hygiene, provide in inclusive breastfeeding and prepare and provided clean and healthy food. The materials provided by health professionals can improve maternal motivation and self-efficacy to adopt the desired behavior. And this study mentioned that uh, discharge planning program effective in increasing maternal self-efficacy in the preventing of diarrhea.
based on the result of this study, mentioned that discharge planning programs effective in increasing maternal self-efficacy in the prevention of diarrhea, the number of patients we had. And uh, we, show, we know that discharge planning program and self-efficacy is important to apply in the hospital. Maternal self-efficacy in preventing diarrhea is a basic capital for mother in the implementation of diarrhea preventive behaviors in children. Thank you very much for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.